this is actually the end of the video and look what I did you guys looks like I may have popped some tops Boop, pop. let's go Ryan here for silly reviews we're about to go from ashy to classy ladies and gentlemen that's right if you have one of these one of these old school bottle opener type wine key whack jobs from the Dollar Tree. We're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna step it up. I've got the electric wine opener here. Looking really fancy, looking modern, looking classy. What kind of features do we have here? Electric wine opener, vacuum wine stopper, wine pourer, foil cutter, pretty awesome. I picked this up from the Amazon, one of those uh, modern websites there. Scoop that up, that daddy's gonna be under $30. Prime shipping, get it quickly. Purchased that just the other day, got it today, reviewing it right now. Let's go ahead and pop the top, boop. It's like a shoe box, oh, it's really, I, this is, I love it. Look at the inside, electric wine opener. Gonna let you know, this box feels really fancy. Like when you get a cell phone and they're always in a, you know, a new smartphone is now in a really fancy box. This is what it feels like, except it's huge. So what do we have in here? Let's go ahead and find out. We're gonna dig right in. It looks like some things moved around a little bit. Got your styrofoam, cushiony, velvety, uh, whatever this is. Feels like them velvets. Feels like velvet lining right here. Keeping it classy. We've got a card on the inside. Let's read what this card says free how to get a six month warranty go over to their website now the brand name on this i don't know exactly how to pronounce it bojecker bojesher bojecker that's who i think this is replies in 12 hours or less a little chinese company i believe Re really trying to trying to get your business keep your business get more business get the the reviews just like i'm doing i'm reviewing it let's let's look at it together let's dig deeper so we've got instructions they're in Chinese, I don't know how to read it, but you'd have to be a moron if you can't figure this out. All you have to do is put four batteries in it, press the down button to get into the cork, press the up button to remove the cork. There's the English instructions. Whoa, right there. Well, I've got batteries, got some batteries right over there. We're really gonna put this thing to the test once we get it out with those batteries. I'll tell you more about them in a little bit. Go ahead and finish digging in here. So we've got multiple tools in here. This is not just a, an electric wine bottle opener. Right here, you know what this tool is, ladies and gentlemen? This tool is gonna be your foil cutter, okay? It's gonna cut that furl right there. You put that over the top, you kind of give it a little pressure. You turn it around, it's gonna cut that foil. You're gonna get that right out of there. Next up here, next up, next up. This is what's called a wine pourer, okay? You never wanna pour your wine and put a, a Terrible presentation on by making it go glug, glug, glug. Okay, this wine pourer, you're gonna put it in your wine bottle and then it's gonna pour it out so smooth. It's gonna, the aeration, fancy wine sniffer people stuff, it's gonna be just perfect, okay? That's the wine pourer attachment. We've got one more goodie in here before we get to the big daddy, the king of the road, the king of the show. Now, what do we have here? What is this? This. You're gonna pump it, okay? We're gonna be pumping. Oh yeah, we're gonna pump it up. You're gonna get the air out. It's gonna extract the air. It's gonna make sure that your wine lasts as long as possible. And it's really simple. You just, you put, wait, maybe it goes this way. No, it definitely goes this way. You're just gonna put this on the top and you're gonna get to pumping. And you're gonna pump it and then it's gonna help save your wine for as long as possible. Unless you're like me, there is no reason for anything like this. The wine's gone. All right, now we're getting into the meat and the potatoes. This is the, the big deal right here. This is your electric wine opener. Super exciting here. I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap this with you guys, okay? Unwrap that. There we go. Man, feels nice. It's got a nice little quality heft to it. The buttons feel different than what they look like on the website, and that's a good thing. Oh, it's a nice rubbery, feel to it really really tactile i like it looks like there's going to be some kind of led that's going to light up right there in the middle right here um, take a look at the inside this is clear now in the picture it looks like there's going to be led light shining in here i hope that's the case that puts on a really nice presentation let's put the batteries in 
So here's the deal with the batteries. These are in my check mark plastic container, which means they're supposed to be good. These are all rechargeable batteries, all, four different brands, but they should all have some power to them. I think that'd be a really good test for this because um, you're gonna wanna use rechargeable batteries in something like this, especially if you're gonna be using it often. So I just have random rechargeable batteries. We're gonna try it out, it should work. So to get the batteries out, it's gonna be really simple. On the top, you're just gonna pop it, boop, pop, comes right off, easy enough. Four connections, four batteries. Whoa, got a little treasure in here, guys. Got a little treasure in here. What does this say? This shows you how to put the batteries in properly. Install them properly. Wow, if there better be markings in there and you don't have to use this picture to try to figure it out. Uh, let's take a looky-loo. There are markings. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead. Let's hook this up right now. Let's do it. Here we go. This one's going to be negative up. This one's going to be positive up this one's going to be positive up this one's going to be negative up just like that Let's see if we can get this top pop back on there boop 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 bop that's it let's give it a try so when it comes to spending on the expenses to make this video okay ryan doesn't skimp only the finest wine for this review a beautiful bottle of that sutter home Pinot El Grigio, okay, from the French um, Californian uh, vineyards of the pristine 1948 um, year. Oh, that's how long the brand has been around. Let's go ahead. Let's see if we can pop this top properly, okay, with our electric wine opener and our little gadgets. So what we want to use is our little foil cutting tool. And I believe I remember how to use this correctly. So you put this over the top. And then you squeeze it and you turn it. Which shit. We're turning. That's it. Foil is out. Boop. Bop. Very nice. Okay, now here's the test. This is, again, the meat and potatoes part of this thing. We're going to try to get this cork out with our fancy electric wine bottle opener. Let's just make sure it works. It does work. That's down. That's up. The instructions say pop it over the top, hold it down until it gets the cork. Use two hands here. Here we go. We're drilling. We're drilling. Whoa, that is a lot more power than I thought. So do I hit the up arrow now? Because it looked like it was getting the cork out all by itself. I'm going to hit the up arrow. Oh, no, 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 that's not working. Let's keep pressing down. Pulling it. Popping it. Come on, you can pop that, Daddy. Got it. The top has been popped. Pretty cool. So then I guess now I press the up arrow. And it's going to give us the cork back. Is that how that works? Is that how that works? Is it working? It looks like it's working. Oh, I like to see it grow. Wow. Okay, that worked. And it does have the LED light in it. I bet that would look really cool at night. Two thumbs up right here for the Bojecker electric wine opener. Now, the link is going to be in the description. I'm also going to pin that comment. Go check that daddy out. That is pretty cool. Anyway, I'm Ryan for Silly Reviews. If you watched it this long, man, I really appreciate it. Been doing this since 2006. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. What's your favorite wine? Um, do you like wine? Do you hate wine? What do you use to open wine? I, I mean, I, I've used stick knives before. You, you do what you have to do. Let's talk about it. Ryan for Silly Reviews. Till next time. Thank you so much for watching.